All right, so I'm really excited to be working with Ryobi again. This is a working partnership. It is a Ryobi 40 volt lithium brushless 21 inch cordless lawnmower. It offers gas like power, but I'm not going to be going to the gas station at all because it is battery driven. In fact, it has a seven and a half amp hour battery and a charger that comes with it. And I'm going to show you where it is. It's also a self propelled rear wheel drive and it has maximum power and runtime because it is brushless. All right, one really big sell point for me on this is that it actually has a collapsible handle. So it makes it really easy for storage when you don't have a lot of space. And even if you do have space, you don't wanna suck it up with a lawnmower. So you'll see that on the Ryobi here, that it has not only a bag, but it has a mulching attachment so you can take the bag off and actually mulch. And so you've got optimum choices and it's going to take up minimal storage space I'm going to go ahead and walk you through a little bit of this so you see what I'm talking about and then we'll go ahead and use it. All right, so now I want to show you how to collapse the handles just so you can see it for storage. So first we're going to go ahead and just release these right here and that brings it down. And then we're going to go ahead and pull these and turn. And then that releases over here. And then of course you'd be taking your bag off. Then I'm gonna show you a little bit about mulching real quick. To get this done, I'm gonna have my husband help me. He'll see before we touch any of the parts, we're going to add the mulcher. You definitely don't have the key in there so that it cannot even start, which it wouldn't, but we have it out for safety as we're supposed to. So to put it in, it's already in right now. I'm gonna have him take it out so that I can film it at the same time. You're pulling up on the handle. And then it comes out. And in the same fashion, you need to leave the handle up until the last minute. You see where he's grabbing at the base. When you get it in, you lock it down. It's that simple. All right, so let's take a look at how to adjust the cut height in your lawn. It's all done right through here. There's a trigger mechanism under here, which you may not be seeing. And all it is is basically putting your arm into it, pulling up or down, and then it will drop into position wherever you want it to be. So I'm going from one inches to four inches. Again, it's adjusting your height. It's really easy. All it is is with a pull of a, um, a mechanism underneath, and that's the end of it. I'm about to show you what everybody has probably been putting gas into, but instead of putting gas in mine, I'm about to show you what I use. Yes, a battery. The battery is seven and a half amp hours. It is com completely charged. Sorry for stumbling. It is charged and ready to go. And I also have a backup battery. Now, at any point in time while you're setting up, the key should not be in here, but because I am ready to go, I actually had the key in. So once you put the key in, um, you can actually turn the mower on. That is why you don't put the key in until you are ready to go. This battery is fully charged. This battery is fully charged. It's not nearly going to take me all of this time to get the lawn done, but I have backup with me in case I'm far away in the lawn and I don't have to run back in the house to switch batteries up. Again, switching batteries, I'd be taking the key out and changing the battery placement, putting the fresh one in and putting the other one on the side storage unit. Easy, simple, no gas required. So the battery pulls in and out right here. You have to press really low and then you pull it on up and you just put it in. Now this has to be charged in order for you to use it, obviously. And before I can do anything or make it work, it is all run from this key. If this isn't in, you're not doing anything. And that's the way it has to be while you're setting up for your day of work. 
All right, in order to start this, we're going to go ahead and put our key in. And you'll see I have both my batteries in, one for backup that we already own, and of course the one that came with it, it is now fully charged. Then I simply move back here. Then we're going to engage by pulling this and touching this. It's that simple, ready? All right, so one other thing I really forgot to mention and need to mention is you can adjust the self-propelled speed as you can see right in front of me. It goes from minimum to maximum. So depending how you stride and how much exercise you want while you're cutting your lawn, you just adjust it right here. So again, it's pull back, touch the button, pull these levers, and away you go. It's self-propelled, it's easy to do, and I find it quite enjoying, uh, enjoyable that I don't have to um, go back and forth to the gas station and I can cut whenever I'm ready, not around the, the amount of gas that we have in the house. It's also pretty quiet to cut and it's definitely user friendly. As you can see, there wasn't much to it. It has become my favorite mower and we have only just begun.